We're about to get some super fast new Wi-Fi called Wi-Fi 6E. And this is gonna bring some really big speed upgrades to what we're currently getting. So what exactly is Wi-Fi 6E? When is it coming and how does it work? So recently the FCC opened up a new band of spectrum for unlicensed use. That basically means free use, anyone can use it. And this is in the six gigahertz band. So right now the Wi-Fi that you're using at home or anywhere else with your smartphones, your computers, and with routers that give you the Wi-Fi, use two different bands, the 2.4 gigahertz band and the five gigahertz band. But starting from this year onwards, products are going to be able to use a third band, the six gigahertz band. And because we have a lot of products already coming out with the name Wi-Fi 6, that name was already taken. And so the name Wi-Fi 6E was chosen, but actually Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E aren't exactly the same thing. Wi-Fi 6E stands for Wi-Fi 6 gigahertz band extended and uses the 6 gigahertz band, something that we're not currently using with current Wi-Fi with 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So why is using this new 6 gigahertz band important? Well, at the moment we use the 2.4 gigahertz band and that can send data a relatively long way, but it can't send a lot of data. And so you can stand further away from the Wi-Fi router, but the amount of data and the speeds that you can get are quite slow comparatively. And that's why we also use the five gigahertz band, which can send a lot more data, but can't send it as far. So using both of these is a best of both worlds type of scenario where you can get a slightly bigger range, but if you're closer, you get slightly quicker speeds. But with the new Wi-Fi 6E, there's over 1200 megahertz of spectrum being opened up, and that just means more space for us to send and receive data over Wi-Fi. So if 2.4 gigahertz sends a small amount of data a long way, five gigahertz sends more data a shorter distance. Obviously six gigahertz can send even more data, but over a even more shorter distance. So Wi-Fi 6E can be specifically beneficial for people who are actually quite close to the router, maybe in the same room or in the same building quite close to the router, but can have much quicker speeds. This means that if there are a lot of people in a space, for example, a train station or a mall, the Wi-Fi should actually be fairly usable and not take five minutes to load a web page like it currently does if you're on public Wi-Fi. More than that though, because the speed that you can transfer data in the six gigahertz bands will be a lot faster, it means there's loads of other applications that you can use it for. For example, in AR applications, AR headsets currently that you have to actually plug in, you can potentially just make AR headsets that are completely wireless and have a completely different experience. And other things, for example, airdrop type services, or data transfer speeds between two smartphones can now actually become really, really quick and you can send a lot of data in a short space of time. This is definitely really important for the industry because smartphones are definitely moving towards completely portless designs and manufacturers wanna take the charging port away and just move to wireless charging and completely wireless data transfer. So Wi-Fi 6E definitely will help with that. There is a catch though. Our current gadgets like smartphones, laptops, and the routers that we use won't be able to support Wi-Fi 6E. You'll have to buy new routers, new smartphones, new everything with the chips inside that can use the six gigahertz band. Right now, there are a lot of smartphones and other gadgets coming out saying that they support Wi-Fi 6. Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E aren't the same thing, and there aren't any products right now that can support Wi-Fi 6E. We'll have to wait until the second half of this year at the earliest, and probably next year until gadgets with the Wi-Fi 6 e support will come out. So that means you'll have to buy a new router that can support the six gigahertz band and then you'll only maybe notice some differences when all your gadgets are working on that band together and can take advantage of these speeds. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.